Kieran here, Irish Football Fan TV. We're here in United Park where it's just finished up 1 0 to Longford Town. Uh, Longford Town to extend their gap, would draw it to 7 points at the top of the league. Um, I'm here with Mark, fan of Draw United. Mark, uh, disappointed after the second half. A lot of chances, and uh, I suppose Draw going to feel a bit hard done by. Yeah, I think Draw had enough chances to win maybe two games today. Um, it's going to be like that for most of the season. They're, they're creating. Tons of chances. I love to see the, the stats for the, for the chances created, and they're just not not putting them away. Um, they'd be on top in some of the games, and they're just not putting it away. And then then the pressure builds, and 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 the opposition end up scoring just a minute before half time, 30 seconds before half time, just just killed them, killed Trotta. Um Again, they're on top in the second half again, as you said, and again they just couldn't put that chance away at the end of the game. They must have had four or five clear cut chances at the end, and just couldn't get in. I suppose it's it's never really a worry when you're creating all those chances because a lot of teams, even in the in the Premier Division. One of the things they struggle with is is actually creating chances and things like that. Um, is it more so? Are you more so worried about um, the fact that maybe that they're just not putting them away, whether it's, it's lacking in the striker or maybe it's just it's just a bit of bad luck. Um, bit of both. I think um, Chris Lyons has been excellent this year. His work right off the ball is, is unbelievable. He wins the ball. He's, he wins foul after foul outside the box. He's, he's very, very good off the ball. Um, I think he just needs to get one or two under his belt, get a bit of confidence in himself, and I'm sure he'll bang in a few more. But um, yeah, a bit of bad luck here and there. Um, like the scramble there, two scrambles at the end of the game there. It, if it just drops to a draw the player, it's in the back of the net, but just twice it just dropped to a long for player or keeper, whoever it was. And, uh, the header as well. And the header at the back post, yeah. I think he could have squared it if he. If he choice of square there's a tap in there for someone but again it still has to drop to us so yeah. whether, whether, whether it drops us or not I don't know but um, yeah a bit of bad luck but but uh, another striker up there with uh, with Chris would be good uh, to be fair uh, Mark Doyle and, and, uh, has done very very well he's scored a good few goals I think he scored 5 or 6 this year so he's doing well uh, Steve Meany scored I think he scored a hat-trick there a few weeks ago as well um, down at Lone I think it was so in fairness the young lads up front are doing, they're doing well but um, I think another experienced striker that's been around the league a while uh, could could get your order back up into maybe into to playoff positions or something like that yeah. what do you take away from the game now looking into the rest of the season do you think it's possible now for front them to catch maybe get an automatic or are you more, more so just hopeful of a, of a playoff position uh, I, I don't think to, to get automatically I don't think yeah. again it's, it's down to the goals at the end of the day if you don't score goals you don't win games um, you can keep all the clean sheets you want but if you're not going to score the goals you're not going to win the game so yeah I think a playoff position would be, would be fair for Drada. Um you can see a lot, a lot of people taking points off each other at Lone had a good start to the season and just kind of dropped off a bit now but um, yeah everyone's kind of taking points off each other but I think uh, through the playoffs I think they, they, they could be could get us yeah. up to the Premier Division yeah um, <laughs> It's it's such a tough league when you go up into it. For any team in this division, no matter how much you dominate this division, once you go up, it's so hard to even be competitive up there. Um, the, obviously, you can see the money isn't really in the, in the league in general, but especially in this division, like there wasn't that many people here today, you know, and this is top of the table clash. Like, what do you think needs to change, or would you like to see Drogheda get promoted? And uh, do you know, do you think they have the capabilities if they do get promoted to actually staying up there, or Longford, or whoever it is? Um, yeah, I, I think they do. Um, I think it, if you do get promoted in, in the off season, if you bring in, as I said, a few good experienced players, um, goal scorer definitely number one to, to stay in the league. Because again, if you're not scoring the goals, you're not winning the game. So definitely uh, experience. If you do get promoted up to the first division, if you can recruit well and, and get experienced players in the door, I think you have a good chance of of staying up. Obviously. You go from dominating one league, then into and playing the likes of Rovers and Bowls and, and then types of teams. So you're not going to be dominating them games. So uh, it, I mean, like, there just seems to be such a massive gap. I mean, I'm referencing like Finn Harps, who only won the first game in the league today. You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So exactly you see that it is tough for them but do they have the, as I said do they have the goal scorers yeah. like that do, do they have these experienced players I, I don't know myself if they have them or not but uh, d did they get in the off season did they get in these types of players that have Premier Division experience and have played there before and, and they kind of I'm not saying know how to win and know how to play that but they can kind of a lot of first division teams have a lot of young lads in it and yeah. then when they do get promoted they don't have a lot of experience so do they have them experienced players that can help them through the, through the season um, and, and carry them forward sort of thing yeah. like yeah all right, well, thanks very much for your time, Mark. No All right, thank you. Cheers. All right.